Now we're going to make a reverse stacker card. Now print out all the pages first and then cut them out and put on those ones double sided foam but not on the last one. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Then I've also got all the step by steps that's going to go on the card all using the background paper from this design set as you can see. So print all those out and cut them out ready. Now we're going to make the basic card and for this I've chosen two plain pieces of white card. Now measure this 8 inches and then crease it across and I'll just show you what I've done to save time. This is the card that we're going to use. So if I open this up you can see the card finishes there. I've just measured 8 inches, creased it there, folded it over and then stuck the back to another same size card. So when I fold that over like that, you've got this bit hanging over the edge here. Now what we're going to do, you could either fold it over, crease it again and fold it over. So you could have it on the outside of the card, but we're going to put it on the inside of the card, layering this up so it creates that effect when you open it. So the first thing we're going to do is open it up and just add all the pages. I've already cut these out and it's just a question of sticking them in position and I like to hold it in position exactly where I want it and then lift it up and glue it. Fold this flap over and then you have the next section ready to stick down which is this one. Next we'll fold this over here like this. And then I've got the main design here and make sure the head's going the right way. I'm going to also position that and stick it down. stacker I've just cut all the pieces out the main one here I've just kept flat the other step by steps I've put some foam pads on the back ready to stick down and all you have to do now working in reverse with the smallest aperture in the middle just assemble these all together So as you can see that's created that image there to give you a 3D look. Now the final image I've got here. Now we're going to put some double sided foam tape on this and then we can either use it this way so it looks like it's all framed completely or we can turn it into like a, a sealed box. I'll show you that in a minute. Now that's finished like that. Now that could just be framed as it is, as you can see. Now, there's various ways of using that now. We can either use it on the card like so, pop that there, 
you can position this onto the card it's got that raised effect gives it a nice extra 3d look put it on a jaunty angle put it up in a corner add your sentiments do whatever you want to do as a 3d picture but what we're going to do is i'm going to cut this and bend it around and i'll show you how to do that first of all turn it over like so and then taking a ruler and an embossing tool just lay it along there it just needs to come out a little bit so you can get this in between and all I want you to do is crease it at this stage so it bends easily go right to the edges and just do this all the way around now I'm going to fold this up like so and then I'm going to when it's folded fold it like that then I can stick it down just use some of my glue here good quality glue I'll use a double-sided tape so first of all do two sides So these two sides are now stuck down here. Now what I want you to do is just crease along the outside edge there. So it creates a kind of a, a straight line down there, just crease it. And then take your scissors and just cut that carefully up to the edge. You can take that off. You don't want to get in the way. And then cut down the opposite side here. And then that will fold in like so and then when you've done the other side this will be able to fold over and stick down and then just to make a nice finish on the back here I've just cut a piece of card that will fit on there nicely and I'm just going to stick the back on there because some of this back will be seen and now I've got my reverse stacker here and I've sealed it all the way around kind of framed it it's got the back on there but if I was going to stick that directly on the front of the car I could have left the back looking a little bit messy but I'm actually going to give you another option I'm going to open the card that will become a bit of a leaf there and then this is going to stick on here so taking my glue I just need to apply glue on just this section here a little bit less than a third Hold this down in position where you want it. I you can either put it down there at the bottom, middle, top. I think I'll just do it slightly down from the top and then just stick that down and hold that in position until the glue's dried. So there's the reverse stacker stuck on the front of the card there and you can just open it up like so. And because you've put the backing on, you've also got like a nice background there too. <laughs> 